1 p.m. today. Um, some men who was working in the gully at uh, the back of my text lane was sitting having refreshment when a bike rode up uh, the pillar and opened gunfire at the men. Four persons so far on to our reports have been shot and injured. Um, and they are presently at the Kingston Public Hospital where they are under treatment. No suspect were here. Um, police who were in the area responded, gave chase, but the men made for their escape. back to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news reviews updates and your daily dose of entertainment don't forget to hit the notification bell leave us a comment like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your future for me everything where you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see when you know what to please the audience wait it's simple me Doors are occasionally closed so you can be redirected to an open you would have never pursued. Sometimes when you are forced to move, see that you are being guided to more. Accept the closed door, trust the process, and optimistically seek new opportunities. A closed door doesn't mean you are denied. It is a detour to your true destination. Always remember that. Well, go on, my people. Hope everybody doing okay. Hope everybody doing all right. Yet another man, let me get up and find myself alive. Let me tell you something right now. Some people don't feel too pleased this morning. But guess what? Every day above ground is a blessing. How awesome it is to be amongst the living. And surely, 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 not amongst the dead. Give thanks to life and the gathering. And give thanks to the people that will get up and accost me this morning. But me tell you something. You know why I apologize? Paper me, I wonder if I'm supposed to apologize to you people. Let me tell you who I talk about. You see the paper them, oh, they click on the description section. I still I didn't want to group them. You know this man, they wake up and they see one video and I said, Yeah, no star. I cannot believe it. The country gone to the dark. I know I apologize to you because I said, My view, could wait until the day before you send that the video because you just make it morning. But then, you oh, know, and as I get him, I send them go. No. I don't keep them for myself. See me how me they feel and so me and me could feel too. So me don't think me need to apologize. If the people that wanna know me at that but only if a circle and come go look on the video, you understand? All the baby are dead. But anyway, I can roll off some news now. So I just get a blood clot call all ago. So them boy they don't lick all in. Boy in a man, Ivan. I asked boy if my baby mother did their dance. One thing more until them batty boys don't a little you know, and them big pussy down you know when you kneel you know. People may pick his start. The rest don't really reach right there, there, there so yeah. Keep back and relax. Me always tell you no. Know, don't rush the news. Just wait for that, no man. A same catching graphic designer who is accused of sexually assaulting a 12-year-old girl was granted $700,000 bail when he appeared before the same catching court yesterday. The accused is 40-year-old Mark Robinson from Gregor Park in the parish. Parish Judge Jacqueline Walcott granted bail with strict reporting condition and let you let it out for the man them angle your bangle. Me I'll tell you the truth. Robbins is not to be seen in Gregor Park community and must not contact the complainant or witness in the case. He is to surrender travel documents and report at Old Arbor Police Station three times weekly. The matter will again be mentioned on September 12th. Information reaching our news about Robbins is charged with having sexual intercourse with a person under the age of 16, sexual grooming of a child, and grievous sexual assault arising from an incident that alleged happened in April. A report was made to say so called yes, paper and a larger investigation, and instead of let me slap on this boy, yeah? Then put him in a cuff and I charge him. You know make no sense? It don't make no sense, people. Anyway, more news. Cop and call centre manager detained after I'm a cease in St. Catherine. I know the police them always mixed up in a foolishness. Say it here now. A police and a call centre manager among four persons detained following the siege of a large amount of cash and ammunition after an incident in Bogwa St. Catherine. The cop, a constable, 
who works in the St. Catherine North Division, was detained after he was found in bushes by lawmen who went to investigate the report of explosion in the area. It's reported about 7.50 p.m. the police respond to a loud explosion sounded like gunshot when they saw a man subsequently identified as a constable hiding in bushes. The constable reportedly told the police that he drove his car to the area with three of his friends to conduct a motor vehicle transaction. He reported that he met up with a man and while having a conversation along the roadway, he heard several loud explosions, sounded like gunshot and ran off into the bushes. He said his friends jumped in his car and drove away. The police said the constable was taken to the Bogwa police station and made contact with his friends who subsequently drove his car the precinct. The motor vehicle was searched and 100 9mm cartridges was found in the glove compartment and a magazine containing 10 9mm cartridges retrieved from the armrest console. The police said the constable was not the owner of a license firearm or a permit. More than $1 million in cash was taken from the cop and one of his friends. The Bogwa police are investigating. Ah, slap on the slap on the old idiot police boy. May I tell you the truth? One man can't so done. Anyway, no people are going to power one. Remember me tell you big idiot Minto, cause wally pa traffic on the road? Guess what? A man who is said to be a person of interest in St. Elizabeth has been taken to custody for questioning following a police military operation in the parish on Friday. Head of the St. Elizabeth Police Superintendent Blackbird himself has intensified operation in the South Central Parish in search of criminal suspect and illegal firearm. Idiot Minto. Yeah, you may have to, have to know. I don't want you put the handcuff on them and I slap, we send you to slap them away. So, uh, the operation started at 4.30 this morning um, in the Spring Park area, uh, target gang members, particularly from this speculation gang. So far, one person of interest was taken into custody pending investigations. Um, as we speak, the operation is still ongoing. Further updates will be provided uh, at the conclusion of the operation. There are a number of areas that the team is going through the Spring Park area, the Brampton area, and, and, and surrounding areas. There are some other areas that are targeted, which I would not comment on at this time. Anyways, that is that way that is concerned. What you going to go on now? Yes, you know, I see my phone and ring down the paper, they call me and say, my view. Your review will work. No make nobody tell you, say, it now work. The police, they might listen, and they might get results. Apart from the corrupt police, they don't want to be a police station, who they call Mark to the night before and say, yo, we are coming up there in the morning, take out the thing them and hide them. And that is exactly what I'm doing. But my view, I will tell them what I want, what I want. Then catch a little gun rat. People, I know so I feel like a joke thing here and now. A teenage boy linked to the capture land gang operating in a section of St. Andrews South Police Division was apprehended during an operation conducted by members of the Waste of Time Task Force on Trinidad Road in Waterhouse, St. Andrew. The teen, a 17-year-old boy, who was wanted for wounded with intent is believed to be a top tier member of the gang which is responsible for several major crimes in the area and then can you believe it instead of the police them going they're gonna slap him away then they do that the police them are waste time this little boy a brain should have there all over it drunk so what i said i mean what i said you know marry the people and now nah, take you back let me tell you who dead you understand a watchman was found dead at an under construction housing scheme where he worked in Eltham Spanish Town St. Gatchin. He has been identified as 32 year old Christopher Fearing, otherwise called Chippy, from Gordon in the parish. It's reported that around 5 50 pm, resident from Flintstone Drive in Eltham Park heard loud explosion in the area, stumbled upon Fearing's body, and summoned the police. Police arrived and saw the body of the now deceased lying face down at the side of a house clad in a white t shirt, cream shorts, and a pair of yellow socks and a pair of black and white sneakers. The body of the police reported at what appeared to be a gunshot wound to the upper section. The scene was processed and the body was taken to the Spanish Town Hospital to be placed right by ice. Mr. Paper, the gunman them now play these days, but guess what? The police them take them look at time and I'm over the table. You understand? Lone one love win. An unidentified man was fatally shot on a firearm seize during a confrontation with members of the Waste of Time Task Force in Johnson Spent Spanish Town. Two men escaped on foot during the confrontation. Oh, the police them with Jappy Ball, man. Oh, the police them with Jappy Ball. Chee, that in a man gonna could I get in a man. The firearm, a Smith and Western Army, the pistol was found in a magazine containing three rounds of ammo. The Johnson Spent community is known to be frequent by gang members associated with one other gang. 
Me and know said the police them have only part time for them and so they have only part time for waste. The security force will continue operation in Johnson Pen and adjoining community. And all on the people, all on the nobody feel like a right that's all on them there. I look for gang gunmen and guns. You understand? Cause then gone on a white hall. Then gone on a white hall. Yes, you're right. A sweet 16 sports bar at 16 lane. Guess what? Bet so nobody can tell me where. A matter of fact, I know so they don't know, so I go and tell no. The man them kill Clement. The man them kill Clement. How about you chat Clement getting a paper? But guess what? Everybody different forgot them because it seems that like the killer, they still out there. How could they get no picture? But me I tell you, how about you chatting get we still lay down from the drunk? Dead, dead, dead. All right up a standpoint right up there, 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 so. They shoot up one party, you know. One party get shoot up up there too. But nobody worry yourself. Me so me could know. If nobody dead, I who dead? And all of them up the car, guess what? We don't really rush the news on this platform, yeah. I mean, we don't wonder why the people, them, are bald from man in the group. We don't wonder, don't it? Just wait. Don't rush the news. Start about we go on a spoilers, and then we can make on a giant, the ball in passy. Serious thing. People, me don't have goat mouth. I mean, I wish bad for nobody. But if somebody said the man, them in the gully, right in the Central King, so I look at my friend and I say, yo, bet before the day done. Them, them and they pick up card. I'm a bitch and say, my view. No wish bad for nobody, but I say, all right, what you go on, pal, what you go, go on. Four men were shot and injured at the intersection of Beeston Street and Texane in Central Kingston on Friday. The police said the men who were engaged in gully cleaning activities in the area were having lunch when men drove up on a motorcycle from which one man jumped off right at the back, fire shots, hitting all four. They were rushed to the Kingston Public Hospital. Their medical condition are still not known. So I'm not a question when I got asked now. So my view, all you know said that me that get shot. Are you organize it? No, 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 no. Let me tell you what I want, what I want. Because I know one thing in me, I don't put my mouth together and talk. I'm not afraid of nobody. You understand? Yes, you're looking at the gully. A dark side man alone, you see. You understand? So blame the MP. Blame the MP. The MP only start the dark side man alone money. You understand? The genocide man, them not really get the money from the other day. So the genocide man, them. See the dark side man in the gully and no say the MP send on piece of food. The MP send on piece of food. That is the reason them pick up can. Yeah, them pick up can. Me don't know how them not make it work still if they both party go in at the gully, you know. So I get a little piece of message for the MP boy from both sides. Them say if you tell us a member, a member good. Dark side and genocide man, them not really fight political war. Them just take food from anybody of the food. You understand? So guess what? You don't feel like a fiddle alone for get money. And a fiddle alone for get all of the money. No, 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 no. You see the same way you come around there and give the money when election day. If you win the election, so we want back the money. That's how the people them say, if tell them people are still so. Anybody know him? Knock him up and make him get the message. Leshi, one more clock, you would. One more ass clock, dog. You know, you would. Who let you come on it back to the court, you know, dog? Leshi, you know, you would. You know, Father God, God know, you would. Ask yourself this question When will it end?